Atmospheric composition. We're going to be considering the composition of the atmosphere as we observe it. And we can talk about two sets of constituents. There's the well-mixed constituents and the variable constituents. We're thinking about the troposphere in particular. In the troposphere, by volume, a little bit over 78% of the atmosphere is composed of nitrogen. About 20% or nearly 21% is oxygen and then there are other smaller components. 0.93% is argon, and then of the rest, 0.04% or 400 parts per million is carbon dioxide. Now that carbon dioxide concentration is going up over time through the burning of fossil fuels, the creation of cement, and the clearing of land. And in the process of burning fossil fuels, the concentration of oxygen is also going down as it combines with carbon to produce carbon dioxide. The rest of the well-mixed constituents consists of those you can see there, neon, helium, krypton, xenon, hydrogen, methane, and so on. And they all uh, add up to less than 0.002%. Then we turn to the variable constituents of the atmosphere. The key one for weather forecasting is water vapour, that is the gas phase of H2O and that's anywhere between 0 and 4%, depending upon a number of factors including height in the atmosphere and the relative amounts of evaporation and condensation, which is in turn controlled by things like water availability and the temperature. The next variable constituent is ozone, and that's fairly much a function of height, so it maximizes uh, the concentration near the so-called ozonosphere well into the atmosphere. But it's also produced uh, by various uh, chemical and industrial processes near the surface of the Earth. And then the remainder there uh, represent a small concentration, and there are various sources of those gases, including volcanoes and combustion and so on. 